Let's talk for a few minutes about parallel lines and what happens when they are cut by a transversal. So what we know about parallel lines up to this point is that they have the same slope and that they don't intersect and therefore they have no points in common. But today we're going to talk about what if they're cut by this other third line that we call a transversal. There's some angle relationships that are formed and we have to memorize what that means for our figure in order to solve some of the problems they'll give us. So let's check out some vocabulary. So the first type of angles that are formed are called alternate interior angles. So I drew the same picture so that it's, that stays the same, but the angles I'm talking about in my figure are what's changing. So notice alternate interior angles are inside the parallel lines, but they're alternate sides of the transversal. So that's why we call them alternate interior angles. Because like I say, they're inside those two blue lines and they're on alternate sides of the red transversal line. And we just need to memorize that those would be equal to each other. So if they give us a problem where we have to solve for X or Y, we just know that those types of angles would always be equal. So even the ones on the opposite side of that line would also be equal. Let's look at the next type. We have same side interior angles. So these sound like they look. They're on the same side of the transversal, still inside the parallel lines. So we call them same side interior. It kind of makes good sense. But these are not equal. They add up to 180. So you need to know that those would add up to 180. Alternate interior are equal. The third type are corresponding. I think of corresponding as like they look like the same angle but they're in a different spot in your figure so they're not alternate and they're not on the same side but like I say they kind of look like they're the same but just in different locations so these are called corresponding angles I put that they're like a copycat of another angle within the same figure and those would also be equal so there are other ones I could label here I'm just labeling one pair so it doesn't look too confusing in my drawing and then for alternate exterior angles, that's the type that are very similar to alternate interior, but I decided to include these since sometimes you might be asked about alternate exterior. They work the same way, it's just that they're outside of the parallel lines. So they're on opposite sides of the transversal and they are equal. And like I say, they're not on the inside. They're the only ones that aren't in between the parallel lines. So you just need to memorize these relationships and know how to solve some problems. So we'll work on some more problems that involve this vocabulary 